a conference to share and exchange knowledge on ways to improve local governance service delivery in Ghana and Nigeria has been held in Accra. The workers' unions called on their respective governments to ensure the welfare of members and the prudent management of pension funds to enable them execute their mandate without compromising. The Oshan State Chapter of the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees and the Local Government Workers Union of Ghana met to deliberate on protecting workers' rights. This year's event put the spotlight on the plight of casual workers, employee promotion, timely release of salaries, judicial allocation of internally generated funds, among others. The unions noted that the delay in the release of pension funds affects the morale of retirees. The president of Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, Mr. Jacob Adedeji Adeyeye, said the success or failure of every government largely depends on the local governance setup and the welfare of its workers. Development, wherever you take it to, is supposed to be people-oriented. And when we are talking of development of the people, it is the function of the local government, the role of the local government to do so. And that is why this workshop is important. As practitioners, this workshop is supposed to uh, engage us the more and give us, make us better equipped in the performance of our duties. The General Secretary of the Local Government Workers Union of TUC Ghana, Mr. Kenneth Daniels, said, the collaboration between the two unions will improve public service delivery. We know Nigeria is the most populous and the most popular country in Africa here. They have a lot of things to share with us. Even as the workshop goes on, there are a lot of things bordering on their culture and traditions that we have learned. The other thing that we are giving to them is service delivery standards in the local government system of Ghana. So we are talking about professionalism, client focusedness, we are talking about participation. What are some of the standards? that we are supposed to follow? What are the guidelines with which we are supposed to deliver services to these people in our various MMDAs? The over 700 local government employees